Okay. Now we're going to talk about another thing Catholics get more right than other people. Okay? This is real important. In fact, this is one of the most important doctrines there is. Second only the gospel itself. You must name your sins. Now, in the Catholic flavor of this, and it depends on the priest too, because a lot of them will tell you what I'm going to say now. In Catholic flavor of this, you don't really have to go to the priest to name your sins. It's a convenience, it's a help. You do have to name them to God. But hey, you know, I mean, you're in the middle of the desert. You know, what about all those hermits in the desert? Okay. You're in the middle of the desert, there's no priest nearby. You just had thoughts in. You were jealous of somebody who wasn't in the desert. Somebody you remembered from 20 years ago. Do you now have to, like, die? Unforgiven? No. You look at God and you confess your sin. So a lot of priests, you know, especially as they, you know, get rid of their overload, will say, no, just name it to God. Okay? I mean, even when you go into the confessional, you're not naming all the sins you sinned between that time and the week before. You can't remember them all. And they'll tell you, name it to God. Yeah, that's 1 John 1, 9, according to your Bible verse. Now, where they get it wrong, but again, there's not, it depends on the priest. Where they get it wrong is the idea that you have to confess it to a priest. No, you don't, because you are a priest. First Peter 2, 5 and 9. The whole of us, all of us church, each one of us are priests. Now, there are Catholics who are teachers and, and priests who know this. But, you know, it's not universal. I mean, no knowledge is universal. You know, some of them that belong to the old school, but a whole lot of them, you know, they, they'll let you name it to God. They might not explain it to you, or they might explain it to you, but there are Catholics who know that we are all priests. The office of a priest in Catholicism is generally the idea of being a spiritual leader or a teacher. And that is a separate office, even in the Bible. They call it priest. Okay, but a priest is somebody who represents himself before God. Okay, now there is a mix-up in um, Catholicism, as always, because they're fixated on the whole Jewish thing. The Jewish thing was a specialized priesthood, one group of folks. Of course, see, that's what the Catholics for conveniently forget. It was based on bloodline, not based on doctrine, not based on affiliation to a church. If you were a son of Kohath, you had a certain job that you were born into. And it didn't matter whether you liked it or not. The only thing you could get out of it is if you had crushed testicles <laughs> or some other defect, bodily defect. Then you could get out of the job. That was it. Okay, well, the Roman priesthood is not like that. See, they're not doing what Israel did, and they're not doing what Abraham did, because Abraham didn't do any of this. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much for succession. Doesn't exist. Because everything's in Christ. Not going this way, it's going up this way. It's going up this way. But I'll get to that later. But they do get it right that you got to name your sin to God. You don't have to name your sin to the, the priest in the confessional. You name it to God. Now, some people think that that helps them if they have to go to a priest and name it. Some people, you know, two, two people going to each other and say, you know, I did this really bad thing. But here's the problem with that. First of all, if you go and do and tell somebody else, then there's two people who know about it. We're really showing you one, God and you as one. And the second problem is that, the, how are you going to talk about what it was? You're not even going to say what your sin is properly. When you even name it to God, you got a vague idea of what it really was. Oh God, I didn't put $10 in the collection plate when I should have. Or I took $10 out of the collection plate. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's pretty physical and specific. Okay, but the sin isn't so much that you took the $10. 
It's why you did it. And you're not even going to necessarily be aware of that. The sin is up here. It's not what you do with this. It's what you did with this. This generates the hand. This, gener this generates this. But this is mindless corpuscles. This technically isn't sinning. It's this that's sinning. So if you don't know the reason behind the sin, first of all, you'll never be able to get past it. And you'll never really know what the sin was. So confessing it to a priest or to your friend or to anybody really just is not helpful. Confess it to God and then he'll convict you as to what the sin really was and get you out of it. Because I use one dollar nine like breathing, okay? I guess that makes me Catholic. A lot of Protestants think you're not supposed to confess them. They totally misread one John. They think that's a salvation passage. It's not. And the Catholics rightly know it's not. At least the Catholics I heard from when I was growing up. Okay? That's another thing Catholics get right. And if you don't use 1 John 1 9, you will never, ever, ever, ever please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. I just wrote Hebrews 11 6. You don't have faith if you're not in the Spirit. The faith means the doctrine. The Greek word pistis means doctrine. It's not your act of believing that's highlighted. It's what you believe in. And you can't have anything to believe in if he's not putting it in your head. God has to put the Bible in your head. Bible in your head is how Christ thought. That's how he paid for sins. And in order to get his head in your head, you can't be in a state of sin. So that's why I use one gel and nine like breathing, because I, you know, how do I know? Five minutes went by, I didn't think about using one gel and nine. How do I know if I didn't sin? Dad, that's my arrogance, sir. You know, you, you'll have some vague idea of what it is. You can try to name it, because that helps him train you. Not helps him, but he'll use it to train you to get out of that brand of sinning. But if you, if, you know, you don't sit there and wring your hand. Well, let's see, I think I, I sin. I, I sin of guilt. Guilt's a sin. I sin of sin of guilt. Uh, and then I think before that, you know, and 24 hours later, you're still trying to count what sins you sin and you've not confessed any of them. I, Dad, I was arrogant. Bing. See how easy? And then you save the priest some time so he doesn't have that long queue. Talk to you later. Bye. Stop recording.